placed another order for the Signal Tracer project, plus a short look at the new tape deck. Alright, uh, good evening YouTube. It is 9.53 in the evening. Uh, just kind of putting together uh, what I need for my signal tracer. I have the uh, all the parts so far that I've got in this bag. I am missing a couple of items. Um, I was going to make this with the uh, 50 volt caps for the uh, input that it, where it calls for 300 volts and uh, I was going to use just a, a plain old JFET that I had ordered for that uh, uh, heat, or not heat kit, uh, oh, FE14 uh, FET VOM that I used to have that the meter went bad in, Syncor, couldn't think of the name. And uh, I was going to use one of the ones I'd ordered to replace those. And Bob said that any JFET would work, in, in channel JFET. But, and I got to think, well, Ben, I've got to order this. And then I got to the, the final straw, which I've got the uh, one um, uh, polyester, polyester, polycap, whatever you want to call these things here. Uh, they're, uh, you know, film caps. But I've got got that one, but I don't have the 68. I think it's a 68 nanofarad, and I don't have that one. Bob said I could use the uh, ceramics, but I, you know, I'm, I've said this before. I'm a stickler for a lot of different things, and that's one of the things I'm a stickler for. So uh, I have all my resistors. I have the uh, pot. Everything's there. So I don't have, like I said, the J109. I wanted that. The uh, the two uh, high voltage caps I wanted those um, the um, and the 68 nanofarad uh, film cap I wanted that and so uh, I got to look around on the internet and uh, I found uh, you know some places that had this or that but I could not seem to find everything in one place so uh, I got I enlisted the help of Bob. You all know Bob. <laughs> Bob's an excellent searcher. If you ever need anything, <laughs> Bob's Bob's the way to go because he can get the job done. Uh, I had found everything I needed on Mauser, uh, but it was going to cost me fourteen dollars and seventeen cents shipped, and that's a little bit more than I want to spend because you know I, it's over a week till payday. A week from Wednesday is payday, so. I kind of tried to keep my uh, a little bit back so I'll have money for for this or that. Uh, so anyway, I didn't didn't have uh, you know I didn't really want to spend that much. So uh, I was telling Bob about it, and he said, "Well, let me let me see what I can find." I had tried DigiKey first, and I could not find the J109. I found it came up with the J111. I said, "Well, that's not what I want." So <laughs> anyway, long story short, I know I I keep talking. Uh, Bob found the whole thing and sent me the uh, link to his cart and it ended up costing me half of what uh, Mauser was. Seven, I think it was seven something with tax and shipping. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered those. and uh, So those will be coming here um, as, as quick as this got here, the last order. It shouldn't, shouldn't take that long. It'll be here by the end of the week for sure. But uh, anyway, so that's where I'm at on that. Now, I may go ahead and start populating this board. Uh, you know, I don't have my chip or my socket in there yet either. I've got to put that in there. But uh, like I said, I may go ahead and populate the board and start uh, making sure everything's going to fit. I can actually go ahead and start assembling things. It's not like a big deal. It's just a couple parts be left out and, uh, you know, go from there. So... Uh, don't know what I'm going to do for sure yet. Uh, like I said, I really don't want to get started on this until... I like to have everything when I get started because once I get started, I want to get it finished. So I may go ahead and put that off until that comes and uh, do that. Just uh, concentrate on the tape deck tomorrow and see how that uh, comes out. And uh, maybe that's what we'll do. So, so Alright, that's going to do it. You guys uh, 
Uh, I'll probably bring. I'll come back again tomorrow with the with the uh, tape deck, maybe, on this video because I've only got six minutes, and that's that's too short. <laughs> too short, Marty. Did you hear that? It's too short. All right, we'll call, talk to you later tomorrow when the uh, tape deck is here. Ah, good evening, YouTube. It's 7:03 in the evening now. I am back from Louis Louisville. Gary and I were talking about that on the way down. Um, <laughs> how people pronounce Louisville, and that's pretty much it. The uh, way I do it, and the way he did it, Louisville. You know, that's. Uh, I've heard people say Louisville, but uh, Louisville. I've heard that all my life. Uh, Louisville. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> now this is the Sony TC252D tape deck that uh, I went and picked up today. It is uh, obviously not perfect, but it's not bad looking. Uh, let me stand it up here. Get a little better look at it, maybe. I'll have to look at my camera and see, but I think that's going to be still in the picture. We'll trust that it is. Up here you have your uh, inputs, outputs, obviously your line cord. Um, now, the gentleman that I bought this from says that the motor... Um, seems to be okay the um, take up reel I mean the the play that stuff all seems to be okay um, the uh, problem with it he says and I, I have no reason to disagree with him because you know I mean I haven't tried it yet but he says that the, there is no audio coming out of it now I did question him uh, on the fact that he, he realized that this is a deck and there's no amplifier in it. He said yes, he had it hooked up to his stereo. And I said, alright, well I just wanted to make sure that wasn't an issue. So, um, anywho, I, I did get a take up reel with it, as you can see. But I do not have any tape. About the only thing I can do with it this way is to try the motor functions out and see if it does in fact do what he says it does. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get this thing off. I've got the uh, uh, what am I saying? The uh, manual for it. And I know how to do all this. I, I mean I don't know how to do it. I haven't read it is what I'm saying. So let me plug this in. Power is off. And let me double check make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Or a, a very reasonable facsimile of there. Yeah, you're seeing pretty much the same thing. Let me take it down just a hair. There we go. Now I have this uh, light right behind the camera which may or may not cause a problem. I don't know. But now it is plugged in and we're going to try to uh, see if it does turn on. I don't hear anything but I do uh, see a light here. If, that's, if that motor's running, that's the quietest motor I've ever seen. Let me put my hand back here. See, I don't uh, I don't feel any fan motor. Maybe it has to be uh, in play or whatever. Let's try a fast or a rewind. See, I see nothing. Nothing at all. Now, maybe it's one of those things where I have to have a tape in it. I'm gonna... Bill probably knows. He's probably sitting there laughing at me. So there's a switch I'm sure somewhere that uh, senses there is no tape in there. Um, so I'll have to look at that. But uh, suffice to say there is a light here. I'm assuming that's a pilot light or something like that. You have your uh, controls here. That's the uh, left volume, record volume, and the right record volume. They are both all the way down. And... Uh, your inputs for your mics here. Uh, your headphones are here. Now I didn't ask him if he tried it with a headphone. Uh, that would be a telltale sign also. Uh, so anywho, the uh, the thing of it is, 
the only thing I can do with it, besides turning it on and off, is uh, take it apart. Take this piece here, now there's a way of getting this off fairly easily. Um, and see if there's a switch there. Like Bill has a little little uh, wire, or not wire, they're little um, uh, micro switches I guess is what they would be. And uh, so that's what they are. Um, Anywho, that's uh, pretty much all I can do with it right now. I'm cleaning it up. I do have a rubber renew coming for this because I haven't bought that for, well, I had an old one from 1980s. <laughs> I didn't think that would still be good, so I went ahead and ordered a new bottle of that. And I'm hoping that uh, this thing, you know, if it's like he says, you know, the take up or the, uh, the motor part of it works, and it's just the audio, that's, that's not a big deal. We can, we can fix the audio. I could fix the other two, but I'm just saying this you know, probably the easier fix of the uh, two would be the audio or the electronics of it. So, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> this, I'm, I, let me tell you just a little story about this. Um, we went down, or Gary and I went with me, Gary uh, Rebel 9668, and we uh, arrived at the house. Gary. I don't know why I didn't, but I passed by the, the last gas station thinking there was another gas station because I wanted to get gas also. And he wanted to use the restroom. And um, so I passed by the one I thought, or you know, the one I thought there would be more, and there weren't. And so we ended up at the house, and I, I asked, you know, when, when the guy finally came to the door, I asked, I said, can, you know, my friend here use your restroom? I said, he's, you know, he's got to pee. So, uh, Gary did that while I was standing there talking. But anyway, when we uh, when I rang the doorbell, uh, basically the only thing I saw was uh, after a little bit of a time, the door opened very, very, very little bit, and a hand stuck out. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay. So and the guy said, "Can I help you?" And I said, uh, "We're here to pick up the tape deck." He says, "Oh, okay. I'll be right back." He says, "I just want to make sure the cat doesn't get out." Well, about that time, the cat ran out. <laughs> so. So anyway, he closed the door and went back in whatever he was doing. So I, I said, well, you know, the cat is outside now. So anyway, I'm out there, you know, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> and finally, I did get the cat to come back up on the porch. So uh, I was trying to pet the cat. Well, the pet, cat was okay with me and everything, but he was one of those cats. And you guys that have cats know this. Uh, they get a little playful. And that's the way this cat was. And he accidentally put his claw there and I ripped over my open my skin <laughs> so I rang the doorbell again and the other guy there was two people in there the other guy that actually has the tape deck he came to the door and, and uh, I said the cat came back that's why I rang the doorbell again I said I thought maybe you want to get the cat in oh he says okay so he come out and picked the cat up and took it in and we went in and I like I said I asked about using Gary using the bathroom and we sit there and talked about this tape deck for a little while and he kept asking me if uh, Gary was the guy that worked on stuff and I said no it's me and I said Gary works on things I said but this I'm the one that bought the tape deck and I if I told him that once I know I told him that ten times <laughs> it's like and then he Gary came back out of the bathroom he started asking Gary is you the one that works on stuff and I'm okay well so I picked up the tape deck and uh, I said I'm gonna go out and put this in the trunk real quick while you know got a chance and and because I kind of left Gary standing there talking to him and and uh, they talked for a while they talked about some old radios this guy works on uh, radios things like that tape stay he does a lot of uh, uh, auctions goes to auctions buys thrift stores uh, estate sales things like that and, you know you have you know how the eBay crowd is now and, uh, and he had I, I know probably six or seven of these tape decks all sizes shapes and everything right there at the front front door and uh, so he had this one right there ready for me and uh, so but anyway him and Gary were talking so I put this in the trunk and I I went ahead and got in the car uh, I figured you know uh, this way I'm, I'm ready to go <laughs> thinking maybe you know they would take the hint because I'd already said my goodbyes to the guy and thanked him for you know uh, you know that we good transaction all that stuff so uh, like I said, him and Gary are standing there, and this guy's name's Gary too, so it's Gary's are talking. And uh, finally, uh, he did finally come back out the car, and we left. But uh, it was just kind of funny. And uh, so anyway, the uh, the uh, 
gist of it is we we picked this up got there right on time uh, I was kind of amazed that we did it because I I uh, of course I printed up directions and things like that and had it on my phone but when I got to Gary's house I, I asked Gary I said you know do you you know I get handed him the printed directions I said do you have a better way of going he's oh yeah I said, let's go this way so I, I went his way and going down we went across the uh, Clark Memorial Bridge I guess is what they call it which is the not the troll <laughs> the toll bridge and uh, so we went back in that way and finally got back to where we were going on 64 east out of Louisville and that's where this guy lived so coming back we just, we just went across the toll bridge because apparently the new bridge if you go across that once they don't bill you for it but if you go back again across they will bill you for it so uh, I said you know so we'll just go back that way because it's not going to cost us anything you know which uh, it may or may not but you know anyway that was that and uh, like I said I, I got home about uh, 5 30 I think in the afternoon so I went ahead and ate my dinner and um, all that stuff but anyway I, I started to tell another story and I got off on that um, uh, the guy that sends the links out is it ZB 1971 something like that I'm sorry if I messed up your name I'm, you know I'll, I'll correct it on the video but uh, he sends links a lot in a lot of videos a lot of uh, electronics videos especially and he sent uh, a couple to me on this uh, tape uh, tape not tape uh, signal uh, pair tracer and so uh, I looked them up and then these are little uh, boxes with a speaker cut out kind of like a transistor radio a little bit uh, maybe a little bit bigger than that but anyway uh, he sent these links for the uh, cases and I thought I told Bob this morning that Bob was out um, visiting and I think I just sent him an email with a link to the case and said hey you know this would be kind of neat to buy these and maybe uh, have the uh, circuit board um, printed up into a, a you know silk screen PCB board and uh, sell these on eBay I thought you know that would make a you know I'm not <laughs> don't anybody get me wrong I'm not looking to get rich but I thought it would be helpful for the community to be able to buy these uh, fairly reasonable priced and also make me and Bob a little bit of money you know so we can um, finance our little our purchases and stuff like that so give me your uh, give me your opinion on that and let me know what you think um, uh, I will post a picture or two of these uh, cases and show you what they look like. Now, uh, this is not the, the final. Uh, I was just going to order one and see how everything fit and how hard it would be to uh, make a, a board fit that and uh, all, the, all the stuff that has to go with it and just see how feasible it is. So uh, let me know what you think about that and uh, if you think it would be, uh, I won't say profitable but you know I even if you just broke even it, it would be something fun to do and like I said I, I don't think you I think you could probably make them cheap enough where where you could you make a little a few bucks on it you know and uh, well Bob and I haven't even discussed this really other than the fact that I told him my idea and uh, so anywho that's that now um, <laughs> I'm gonna get off here I know I've blathered 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 like I always do and I want you guys to think about that. Comment on this. Let me know what you think. Uh, so anyway, you guys uh, have a good evening. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see ya.